Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we have the Amazon exclusive Speeder Bike Scout Trooper and the Child set. Um, I got this thanks to the fine folks at goodiestoys.com.au. Um, I did miss the Amazon release here in Australia. Uh, Amazon Australia really sold these really quickly, so I'm not sure how many they had. Um, but yeah, I wasn't quick enough. And usually I'm on the ball. <laughs> um, I'm usually pretty quick with this sort of stuff, but uh, not this time. They went really, really quick. But luckily, uh, Goody's Toys was able to secure a couple. I'm not sure how many exactly, but um, secured enough that I was able to grab one. So I was very, very happy. Um, so yeah, big thanks to them. Website down in the description. Um, yeah, big thanks. Love the display. It looks awesome if you're a box collector of Black Series. This is going to be a... You're going to want to display this piece. This is fantastic. I really like the look of this thing. Artwork on the side. A little bit different for this uh, sort of deluxe vehicle set. Looks good. I actually really like the image on the top of the box too. I think that's a nice touch. Big image on the back. Uh, nothing on the side and on the bottom just a little sort of instruction for the stand that it comes with now we have seen this speeder bike a couple of times now um, most recently came out in the battle of the heroes of Endor big box set um, obviously painted brown this is a white color uh, we did first see it in 2014 uh, with the scout trooper and biker, and biker scout and speeder bike deluxe set back then um, and it also got a release as a Shadow Trooper speeder bike as well. So we've seen this is the fourth release of this speeder bike. Um, pretty sure it's the fourth. Um, could be more. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this one. So let's crack it open and have a look. All right, so just before I start with the figure, I wanted to take a look at this little insert. Now, I don't usually get into excited about bits of cardboard that come in the box, but I just really like this this artwork for the backdrop of uh, Navarro. You can sort of just see the cityscape there in the backdrop. Um, it, was, it was a really nice piece. I didn't take much notice of it in the box. Um, but yeah, just wanted to quickly highlight that because it's a, quite a nice little simple but effective backdrop for the for the figure. Let's take a look at the figure. All right, here he is, super fresh and clean out of the box. This thing looks great. Um, digging the new sort of the paint deco on the scout on the spiker scout. Um, it does look a little bit different to what it looks like on the box. Um, it's less of a sort of, you know, just sort of a speckled on the box and the preview images of this figure it was a very sort of speckled dusty looking thing um, whereas now it looks like it's just given like a you know maybe a little bit of a wipe I'm not sure I'm not sure what it is but uh, it, it's effective it looks dirty it looks like a remnant scout trooper um, so I'm more than happy with it, it looks fine um, obviously the scout trooper has been released before um, I'm probably not gonna actually take him off the speeder bike because he's actually posed on there pretty well um, does have some of those little elastic bands on the feet and hands um, so yeah I, th I think I'm gonna leave him on here as is um, it looks pretty good I may take him off for a shot at some point um, but I like it I think it looks good I love this speed this biker scout figure um, it still holds up really well um, a, an update would be great at some point to lose the sort of pins the double pins in the shoulders and double pins in the knees um, and the new stormtrooper has been an absolute revelation for the line so I'd love to see them maybe tackle a scout trooper at some point and give him some updated articulation and a new mold so the one different thing here is this bag accessory which which is loose, it would be removable. Uh, that is also strapped on, so we'll just zoom up nice and close. And there you have little Grogu's head in the bag. Ooh, a head bag. Those are chock full of heady goodness. Um, it looks pretty good, I like it a lot. You can uh, close, you can probably pop the head out too, I, I assume. It's on a book, yep, easy. So you could probably just close the bag. I'm not sure if it's uh, it will stay closed. 
with his head in there still. But there are little pegs here at the front of the bag. That's oh yep, yeah, it'll fit. And this is just a, this bag is just a nice little accessory as well. Um, got the little greebly there. But, uh, yeah, that fits nice, nicely. It looks good. And I'm assuming the head is the same head from the uh, standard Black Series release of the child of young Gorogu. Um, so that's that's actually one band I am going to snap off. Um, it hugs the hugs to the figure nicely, but uh, yeah, if you want to move that around. But the bike itself is nicely done, nice details. I love all the uh, sort of the scoring, weathering at the front of the veins here, the steering veins, the blaster underneath, uh, the new stand. I like that a lot. I've actually seen people sort of paint these up to match the environment that they're suited on. Um, and yeah, just a simple ball socket there. Actually, I like both the stands. I like the original spider speeder bike stand that came with the um, sort of the three three legged tripod stand, um, so you could have it different heights. But I actually really like this one. It looks good. It's sort of seamless. Looks like just a little bit of flair. You tend not to take too much notice of it. Um, but this is going to look great on my Mando shelf. Again, more weathering sort of up here throughout the back, up here behind the uh, behind the legs. And that's the uh, sort of rucksack, camp out swag thing there on the back of the speeder bike. Nicely detailed control panel there. But yeah, the speeder, the, I keep wanting to call them speeder bikes, but that's what he is. Um, accessory wise, he does come with his very, very tiny little gun, um, which does sit in his pocket there on his boot and if you've owned one of these scout troopers you'll more than likely drop it once or twice in its lifetime <laughs> that's just how it is with this guy i'm gonna zoom out the other accessory it comes with is this little target practice um so yeah this is the little piece of equipment that they find uh sitting in the desert while waiting for their orders and these two idiot scout troopers are just taking pot shots at it and can't hit it to save their life typical imperial stormtrooper fashion um, but yeah, just a, don't know what it is, power converter or something, people were saying, but uh, yeah, just a cool little accessory just to display, just something else, these little, little greebly bits I like that they include sometimes. But yeah, it's a cool set, I'm digging this a lot. Weathering on the Scout is great. Always have had a soft spot for the Scout Troopers, I think they look fantastic. But there we have it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Very excited to have this one in the collection. Again, thanks goodiestoys.com.au. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And hit those little notification bells so that you uh, get my content as it drops. Thanks for tuning in to my next video. May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.